Huzzah! Welcome to Blue Dragon Crafts. Today I want to talk about a few things I've gotten in the mail. I want to talk about Target's new yarn, and I want to talk about a few projects I'm hoping to put out tutorials for pretty soon. Uh, let's talk about Target first. So Target introduced yarn into their stores. Very exciting. I picked up these two skeins for $3.99. They're both a medium four weight yarn. Um, they had about eight of the striping yarns and about 20 of the solid colors. I thought they did a really good job of matching the solids to their stripes. I picked up these two skeins because Easter's coming up and I'm going to, I think, make an Easter basket out of this one and some little eggs out of this one. They were $3.99 a piece. The striped yarn has 180 yards. The solid colors had 219 yards. Um, the yarn itself, let me go ahead and see if I can get this out. It's soft. Definitely not scratchy. Uh, we have a little yarn barf there, but not too bad. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely a four weight. I would compare it to, you know, your typical four weight, your Red Heart Super Saver, your Big Twist, your I Love This Yarn. But that seems like a really good deal. So once I get those made, I'm going to try and post those up. So you can see how that Target yarn worked out. Um, a couple other things I got in the mail. I had been watching Creative Grandma. I really like her channel. And she had subscribed to the Annie's Hook Club. And I, I liked the things she was getting from them. So I thought I would give them a chance, so I subscribed to both the Caring Crochet Club and the, I guess it's just your basic crochet clubs. They also have a Granny Square of the Month Club. I didn't do that one. So the first one I got was the Caring Crochet. And the idea behind the Caring Crochet Club is you'll get a package every month you make that project and then you donate it. And so this one is for a baby blanket. And let me go ahead and open the package. <clears throat> Looks like I got three skeins of Premier's Angel yarn. It's a very nice soft yarn. It's obviously a baby yarn. It's a blue, um, more of a purpley lavender almost. This is a light three. It's, it's between a three and a four, I would say, but it feels really soft. I think a baby would really like it. And the purple and the brown could probably go for either a boy or girl. And it comes with the pattern, and it's a intermediate skill level pattern, and you'll end up with the baby blanket right there. I guess there's a better picture on the front. And then I assume they would have an option to donate. And so this one is for Project Linus, which gives blankets. It says, Project Linus was founded in 1995 as a way to provide love, a sense of security, warmth, and comfort to children who are seriously ill, traumatized, or otherwise in need through the gifts of new handmade blankets and afghans. And then it has a website that you can go on 
to donate. So I will be doing that. I do plan on working this project and donating it. And I also received, because it was my first time ordering this uh, beginner's crochet stitches and three hooks. Now, I don't really need either of these, but I did sign up on Reddit for a yarn exchange. Excuse Valiant. Valiant's my black cat, and he's into everything. Um, so the person I matched with, we both match because we like the color blue. She said she is a knitter who wants to try crochet. So I am going to include this in the package I send her. And when I put that package together, I'll make another video showing what I decided to send her. And I'm excited to see what I get in the mail. And I'll post a video of that when I get my package for my Reddit gifter. Now I also got from the Annie's, the regular Annie's Hook Club was this package with these three skeins of premier cotton yarn for dishcloths. And the idea is you make these three dishcloths. Um, both of these kits are $19.99 plus approximately $6 shipping. So they work out to about $26 a month. So this is the Premier Cotton. It's a hundred and, excuse me, my cat jumped off the table. Uh, it's 105 yards. Um, these are really cute springy colors. The orange, which is see tangerine splash and then we have honeydew splash and you can see they have a little white mixed in and <clears throat> kind of an ombre with the darker and lighter and then the white and this is ocean splash so those are all really cute colors And these are the three washcloths you make. And it's called Learn a Stitch Dishcloths. So one teaches you a crossover stitch, one a back loop only sit stitch, one a seed stitch. So I'm going to make those and I will make a video showing them once I get them made. Those shouldn't take too long. Now a couple other things I wanted to share. I have been working on putting a few tutorials. I haven't managed to do that yet. I'm still working on the logistics of how exactly you do that. Um, but the one of the first tutorials I'm going to make is for a dragon scale dice bag. Um, I really enjoy making these and I've made multiple and I've picked up a pretty easy, I think, method to do it that's pretty beginner friendly and straightforward. So I'm going to try and do a tutorial for the dice bag. And I also want to do a tutorial for my little crochet cat. And I made this up one day because I'm tired of looking for my scissors and my uh, hooks. And I want to make another one to put by my recliner so that when I sit in the recliner and watch TV and crochet, I can have the tools I need right there. My scissors, a couple yarn needles, um, I don't need all of these, obviously, all the time, so this one can stay in my craft room and I can have a little one by my chair. But I really like this project and I think it turned out real cute and I wouldn't mind having another one around. 
and I wanted to share that with the crochet community. So those are the things I'm working on right now. Um, I'm going to get started on these washcloths and this baby blanket and using the Target yarn for the Easter basket and some Easter eggs. And once I get those all done up, I'll be back on and I'll show you what I've made and I'll talk to you some more about the yarn and whether I think these clubs, whether I want to continue with them or if I'm going to give them another month which I, right now that's my thinking, that I will give them another month and see if I do want to continue. Um, but I hope that you are having something fun and exciting to work on, and I will talk to you all soon. Huzzah!